Hey, last time we're going to do this. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. This is Heaven Hollywood Report. Let's get to it. Let's get to the Cardi B stuff, the Nicki Minaj um, versus stuff. But I want to say this. And this is the last time I'm going to do this. Now, people have a habit of listening to other people that are pretty much saying the same thing that I'm saying or talk about the same subjects. And you want to go and listen to their platform and co-sign them on their platform. And then you want to hit me up later in my DM and say, Hev, is this true? After you've been saying it's true and been, and been agreeing that it's true all day. But then you want to hit me for confirmation. Listen, if you choose to listen to another platform, that's fine. Listen to them. But don't wait and then call me later on. Hev, is this true? Because I don't know. It sounds fishy. When you're listening to people spill tea or what have you, the first thing you got to think about, especially behind the scenes, people that say they're giving you exclusives, right? What is the word exclusive? You have to start looking that up first. Look up what the word exclusive is. That means somebody exclusively told you before everybody else. They specifically looked you up and told you first. Okay. So now you got to start thinking. The person that, that is telling you this. What is their credibility? What is their claim to fame? How would they know this information? What would make a celebrity. Call them up. Or hit them up on a DM. Or a person that's in the industry. What made them pick this specific blogger or this specific YouTuber? Do they have any history of being in the industry? Do celebrities follow them? Have they ever talked about celebrities in the past that they may have known? When you look up me, when you look up Heaven Hollywood, when you look up Block TV, when you look up... Uh, the Clark Brothers films, you look up IE Network, you look up my Facebook or my um, Instagram in the beginning, what do you see? Would you see celebrities? You see exclusive pictures that that you have to be pretty close to have gotten, pictures that you don't see anywhere else. And you have seen me with a celebrity or somewhere in a VIP with a picture that you've never seen before. I've shown people in the DMs in the past. I've shown people personal messages in the past. I've been doing this for a minute. So I'm going to say this for the last time. Please do not come in my DM telling me, oh, so-and-so says it's true. Is it true? Well, if you listen to it, just rock with them. Just go with the, whatever they said. But you have to start thinking and using your brain. How is there an exclusive about Nicki Minaj every single day? Do you ever think, just think about that and let that sink in. When Nicki's sitting back, pretty much not saying anything, but there's an exclusive that this person knows or that person knows or that person hears every single day. They're doing it because they know it's the most popping thing on their channel. And when they, me, I'm not, me and a lot of other people are not the same. I got everything going on my channel. I got sports going. I do, I got Block TV News on my channel. I talk about different individuals. I talk about um, sometimes events that's going on. It's not all just one person. I'll talk about the person if it's something relevant to talk about. But I'm not going to just make up news because I know that's what's getting the most clicks on my channel. So when you guys do that, you're being used. Just know that. 
It's being used for, used for the click and the view. And nine times out of ten, the story is not correct. Now, let's get to why we're here. Perfect example. The Cardi B situation that's going on with Jesse Wu. What's her name? Jesse Wu? Jesse Wu? Whatever her name is. She's coming out now, what, three, five years later saying, oh, she was told that Cardi B's team told her that Cardi B was, was put out to destroy Nicki Minaj. Now, isn't this something that the blog Spill the Sugar, and in case you didn't know, kind of told y'all and laid everything out four years ago? If you have not seen, go ask somebody for the blog. There was a whole bunch of blogs put out back then. This is something that has been talked about for the longest. And like I said, and like the other person said, when, when G, shout out to G from Spill the Sugar, in case you didn't know, put it out there years ago when she said, Cardi has nothing to do with it, but it has everything to do with Cardi. Meaning, she can't control what they do, but she's going to be the beneficiary of it. You see what I'm saying? Because they, took, they also used Remy, they used Remy first. They used Remy first to knock the crown off. So, this is not new news. But she's trying to come out and say, oh, like she's looking out for Nikki now, but where were you four years ago when the hate train was in full effect? Now that the hate train is coming to, it's, it's slowing down, slowed, it's almost coming to a halt. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants to come out the woodworks and apologize to Nikki, backtrack. Oh, I heard this. I heard that. Like, you hear nothing. Like, why, why didn't you say something then if you heard that? You're bringing us news that we already know. That G told everybody. That the blog told everybody. That I've mentioned in my lives. Just stop it like you're bringing new news. I already told y'all. My credibility and my track record speaks for itself. So for anyone who in the comments that say, how does he know all of this? I'm going to run it down to you very quickly one last time. I was in the fucking entertainment industry for 21 and a half years. That's two decades. I worked with record labels. I worked in production. I then went and worked in porn. Then I came back and I worked for ESPN. Then I started my own company, Block TV. Anybody in New York or the Tri-State area will know that. We was the number one show, media show in New York for five consecutive years. We then started getting hired by celebrities to do their personal parties. Go back and check. On the Block TV DVD, go back and check. In my Facebook pictures, go back and check. On Instagram, go back and check. Just Google us. We got hired to do Neo's party, Kim Kardashian's party, Nicki Minaj at um in Miami on for 2011. Russell Simmons. You know, Johnny Nunez's birthday. Takara's birthday party. There was Cross birthday party, Khalees's, um VMA party. The list just goes on and on and on and on and on. Being in the industry 21 and a half years, I encountered friends who are in the industry still to this day. So when you ask me, and far as Nicki Minaj goes, again, I sat across the studio with Nicki Minaj three to five times. I met her through my cousin. 109 Light, rest in peace. If anybody asks her about 109 Light, she will tell you. I remember that crazy nigga. And these two twins who I, I still will never mention, these two twins got me in the studio uh, to see Nikki's session the very first time. So I'll never mention them to, to put them out there. Now, 
The next time you want to say, how does he know? That, that That's how I know. And the people that I talk to is in the know. Now, that's the last time I'm going to explain myself. You can take it for what it's worth. You can listen. You don't have to listen. But all my stuff is legit. And all, all my uh, credentials are right there. I don't come out with mystery credentials. Oh, somebody told me. And it's like, how how do you know this? You're not in the industry, dude. You've never been in the industry. So how are you getting all this industry information? You're not. Anyway. The Cardi B situation, as far as Jesse Wu goes, I pay no mind. It is not nothing new. It is not Cardi plotting against Nicki Minaj. It was... Car they're saying Cardi's team. Yeah, Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records has been plotting against Nicki Minaj since they were Warner Brothers. If it wasn't Cardi, if it wasn't the Cardi B, it would have been Bardi C. It would have been someone else. Because that's always been their plan. Look at the numerous girls who came out and said, Atlanta tried to pay me money. This way, they just said, you know what? They gave up on paying a specific artist money. And they said, let's develop an artist to take her out. Instead of a girl making a diss record, that's what they tried before. Instead of a girl making a diss record, let's develop someone and create someone who's going to make the world forget about Nicki Minaj, at least for a few years to pretty much make her irrelevant. So then when she does come back, it's going to be too much ground to make up. Plus, she's closing in on 40 years of age. This is not my words. This is their words. How do I know? Because I'm in the know and I know plenty of people in the industry. That's how I know. We'll answer that question again. So I have to answer it again. And I've been told conversations word for word from publicists in publicist groups. Shout out to Gina Torres again. Look her up if you don't know who she is. So this has been going on for years. G put this on the blog years ago, warning everybody, warning the Nikki fans what was about to happen, and boom, it happened. The exact way she said it was going to happen. As far as right now goes, Nikki just needs to just do whatever she needs to do. If she's going to put out music, if she's going to put out a documentary or whatever, but she has finally gotten it. Like I said in my video the other day, she finally figured people out. She's figured out all the ops in the industry. She's figured out the people who said they were down with her is not. She's figured out Doja Cat. She figured out Megan Thee Stallion. She figured all these people out by just sitting back and watching. She sees the people doubling back. You don't think she sees Wendy Williams doubling back? You don't think she sees... Um, Charlemagne trying to double back. You know what I'm saying? So she sees all these things. She's not going to get into a word of war like, oh, Cardi tried to set, oh, so now it comes out, you try to set me up. Nikki knows all those things. And she knows it's not Cardi B. She knows it's the people behind her. And when people say, well, why would she do that? Well, well, if if you were a poor chick from the Bronx that was stripping for a living and somebody came to you and said, we're going to make you a star, you're not going to go along with it? Of course you are. But they see that ev all those girls who they paid to diss Nikki ran their mouth. So they said, we're not going to tell this one anything. We're just going to set her up in the position. Sure, she has to work hard. Cardi still had to work hard. She still got to make it happen. Everything is not going to be given to her. But they said we're going to give her a big push so it's easier. 
All she has to do is be herself, use her personality that everybody tends caters to, and we'll knock all the extra walls down. All she has to do is walk through it and continue being her and continue to influence young Latina women, young black women, you know, whoever wants to be influenced by her just by being herself. That's what it's about. That's what they're saying. All this came on the tail end of the whole Miley Cyrus thing. We already found, figured that out. We already heard about that years ago. There's no need to get back into it. So that's far that goes. As far as the verses goes, I will re-innovate what I said. No, I'm not scared for Nikki. Nikki's not scared of, of battling Little Kim. I'm not scared for Nikki to battle Little Kim. But I know the game and I know the industry. And that is a setup for Nikki to be made a fool of. Because everybody in there is going to be rooting for Kim. They're going to say, oh, Kim's the underdog. Oh, I feel sorry for Kim. Oh, it's the other. And then every single song that Nikki plays, they're going to say, oh, Kim got that. Oh, Kim got that. Oh, Kim got that. And it's going to be like 15-5 victory for Kim. No. If I'm Nicki Minaj, I'm not doing it. I'll put you on a record first. You know what? You want to reconcile? Let's get on a record together. That way, Nikki wins on his own because she she helped Little Kim out because nobody's checking for Little Kim anymore. But if Nikki Minaj puts on a record, oh look at Nikki, she look what she did for Little Kim. A versus would be no wins for Nikki Minaj. It would be the worst decision she's ever made in music by doing a a versus against Little Kim. Because you just can't trust that it comes from a genuine place. That's number one. And number two is you know how the fans are. Everybody's going to be saying, I feel sorry for Kim. Oh, look what Nikki did to her. Oh, I think Kim won. So all of this, all these people on these websites, blog sites, and YouTube sites saying, I told you so. I told you that none of y'all told nobody nothing before Spill the Sugar. Go back and look at the dates. 2016, she was talking this stuff and told y'all what was about to happen. So, again, guys. You don't have to ask me, is this true? Because if it's true, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's true. If I, if I haven't heard it, I'm going to say, nah, player, I ain't never heard that. And I'm the one talking to industry people. So believe it, don't believe it, this is the last I'm going to say it. But just think about the person that's telling you this and think about, okay, they, you know, They've been around. I, I see the proof. So they probably know what they're talking about. As opposed to any old person who all of a sudden now knows things from the industry. You guys got to use your head, man. So the Cardi thing, it's not news. It's nothing, you know, so, oh, my God. It's not T. Jesse Wolf, she's, if this was the truth, why didn't you say something before? Oh, now you see Cardi announce her pregnancy. Nikki's back popping again. So now you want to throw your face out there and be the topic of conversation. Sorry, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Nobody was checking for you before this announcement. And sister, ain't nobody checking for you now. All right, so with that being said, the next real news I have about something, I will definitely let you know. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time.